Yeah, boy. Hi, Snakeys. It's me, Fifi, and I'm back. I'm back again today with another X Denali Hero. Reaction for you guys, and I'm back literally just from doing the title track and then be freaking bad and part one of the album first listen. If you did miss part one when you're watching this on the dates release, it's in the video that I just posted, uh, like I just said. Also, um, all my Exinary Heroes reactions, which I've been reacting to them since pre-debut, uh, you can go over and find those in my Exinary in my Exinary Heroes playlist on my channel so part two of the deadlock album first listen will consist of the four remaining b-sides checkmate good enough uh man in the box and dear h i'm super super excited let's just go disclaimer i will not be reading lyrics whilst listening to these songs this is my first time hearing the song so i want to concentrate on the music production and their vocals which is my priority the lyrics distract me from that so i'll read them later in my own time there are plenty of reactors out there who will do lyric readings i'm just trying to vibe if you want to vibe with me then cool okay guys let's go so we're continuing the album first listen with the track checkmate let's go Ooh, this reminds me of something, but I can't work out what. Well. People still have to like a game. Life still like a game. I'm not a good chicken. The least of one, three, and next. One, two, three, and next. The game is that. What's all these sounds? The strings are so interesting. Love shot, maybe? You better let you talk.
reminded me of something. I think maybe it was like EXO's Love Shot a little bit, just because it has that sort of reggae sort of rhythm and tempo. Do you know what I mean? It has that vibe to it. I feel like that was Extinary Heroes, one of maybe, if not their most k pop -y sounding track today. Do you know what I mean? It had really sort of K-pop vibes, which I find interesting but it still had the sort of extinary hero stamp on it. It also had those rocky elements. I feel like overall, the choice and use of instruments, the instrumentation in this was very, very interesting. Like I love the use of the strings and stuff, especially in the pre-chorus. Like there were so many layers to that pre-chorus, so many different unique sounds. Um, not one of my favorites thus far. Uh, I feel like it was a little bit different, a little bit more poppy, K-poppy, uh, but it was still good. Let's go on to the next one. Okay guys, let's go. The next track is Good Enough. Let's go. What's happening? Oh, I've been having a dream for that, for them to do a song like this. Vocals. The vibrato. Who composed this? Who wrote and composed this? Wow. Wow. Oh my god, I, that absolutely blew me away. That was so Stunning. That was so well written 
and composed and performed oh my god what a beautiful song immediately as soon as it started i was like okay this is different this is different i've been waiting for them to do something a little bit more melodic um, they have given us melodic tracks, but I feel like I've been waiting for something like this since the beginning, since their pre-debut little trailer things. Do you know what I mean? It was just absolutely stunning. The melodies, uh, it was so well written, not in terms of lyricism, because I don't know all the lyrics, obviously, but just like the melodies and stuff. The, oh, the production, the strings, especially the second verse, those pizzicato strings were stunning. That piano at the end there, do, 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 do. And it was in the beginning as well, I think. I can't remember what point we heard it, but it's just absolutely stunning, okay? Absolutely stunning. Those harmonies, those vocals at the end there, beautiful. That whole thing was a vocal flex. The way, head, vo head voice into chest voice, the vibrato, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, guys, let's go. Next up, we have Man in the Bowl. What's in the box? Oh, this is giving me 70s soul vibes. Oh, it's just a sample. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Bum, 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 bum. Now it's got very scenery heroes. That bass on. Badum, badum, badum. Oh, yeah, this sounds like. So you know what? This sounds like an auxiliary here's title track. Those breaks? Yeah. Interesting. Love that. <laughs> title track and it sounded more like a b-side right that's just how i felt i loved it but i just felt like i felt i felt like it, it didn't have that sort of auxiliary here's title track vibe that they usually have but i was glad they switched it up and went for something a bit different um this man in the box sounds exactly like an auxiliary heroes title track don't you find that interesting i find that really interesting i'm wondering if it like 
if this was the intended title track or something. I don't know. I just find it really interesting, but I also really love that. Because, do you know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like that was a very much an Exciliary Heroes title tracky sort of vibe. Um, I loved it. It was really, really fun. There were some really specific um, little sounds and parts in the production, like the little noises and like that little sample of the scream. Um, and then that, the, what is it she says? You know the part I mean, okay? Um, and all these little weird little intricate sounds and synths and stuff. I love that, it's just so playful, it's so much fun. Um, I love that. Uh, let's go on to the last and final track. Okay guys, let's go. Last but not least, we have the track, Dear H. A ballad? just ended abruptly wow why did they end that so abruptly they ended up way too abruptly that was so beautiful i got lost i got lost in my head i got lost in the clouds i got lost in extinary heroes have you ever seen a hide a group where every single member is like an ace and can just do anything and is just good at everything and it's just fantastic and is incre incredibly talented have you ever well now you have honestly and truly the vocal flex from that, holy The vocals, arguably one of the most solid vocal groups in K-pop. Mm-hmm, yeah, absolutely stunning. I love that part in the chorus. I don't know if it's like a key change which goes up and up, it's like Oh my goodness gracious me, the piano, stunning. It was like a rocky ballad. Uh, I was a little bit like, ah, oh, because I don't really like ballads. If you're subscribed to me, you know that. It's not that I don't like them, I just find them quite boring. Uh, but I was fine with it, I was like, it's okay, we're gonna get a nice vocal flex. But I liked that it was more of a like a rock sort of ballad. Um, 
I love that. What a way to end the album. What an incredible album. What an incredible group. Top three. I really like, I don't know if this is a top three, but the songs that I can think of right now, it's coming to my head, Bicycle. I really, really like Bicycle. And I think it was, it was good enough. I think that's the one with the nice guitar, isn't it? I can't remember. I think that's probably my top three. Let me know your top three in the comments. And yeah, that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, I love you. I love you. Gonna follow me on Instagram, guys. Gonna follow me on Twitter. And yeah. Goodbye. Oh!